Here is the latest from Earth Now. This display shows the NOAA Climate Digest for February 2013. The Climate Digest summarizes noteworthy statistics for the month, season, and year. The average global land and ocean temperature for February was the ninth warmest on record, tied with 2003. In early February, the northeastern part of the United States was impacted by a nor'easter which brought heavy snow, strong winds, and coastal flooding. As Australia finished up its summer, it recorded its warmest summer on record. Meanwhile, tropical cyclone Haruna made landfall along the southeastern coast of Madagascar, bringing heavy rains and flooding and affecting close to 10,000 people. The storm resulted in over 20 fatalities. Northern Pakistan experienced heavy rain at the beginning of the month. In fact, some areas received the average monthly rainfall in just three days. Now we'll turn to the Arctic sea ice extent. The February sea ice extent for the Arctic was 4.5% below the 1981-2010 to 2010 average. This makes it the seventh smallest ice extent on record for the month of February. Finally, we'll travel all the way to Antarctica and discover that its sea ice extent for February was almost 26% above the 1981-2010 to 2010 average, making it the third largest ice extent on record. This real-time data set is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from average. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal temperatures, whereas red colors indicate warmer than normal temperatures. White indicates near average conditions. We'll take a look at three areas. First, we can see how much of the United States was close to average for the month of February, with the southeastern U.S., northern Alaska, and Hawaii being below normal. As discussed earlier, Australia experienced above average temperatures for the month, causing their summer temperatures to break a record. Lastly, we can see that much of Eastern Europe experienced above average temperatures in February. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal temperatures, whereas red indicates warmer than normal sea temperatures. In the eastern tropical Pacific, water temperatures hovered only slightly above average, meaning that no El Nino or La Nina conditions are present. The Climate Prediction Center expects this to continue through at least the northern hemisphere summer. Now take a look at some of the ocean temperature differences around the world. This real-time dataset collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. Eurasia experienced above average snow cover for the month of February. In fact, at 776,000 square kilometers above average, the snow extent in this region was the 18th highest on record. North America's snow cover extent was also above average. It was the 14th largest February snow extent on record, at 543,000 square kilometers above average. And that's your February 2013 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.